Here's another embedded application I developed for aviation. It's designed to go in the back seat of my RV4 and it takes the serial data from the Dynon EFIS unit sitting up front and displays it in the back seat so now my back seat pilot can become my autopilot. It's pretty small. Here's a quarter to kind of show you the size comparison. Turn it around here and you can see the board was developed by a company that just makes boards for embedded software applications. Um, it's got a serial port on it. Here's a little buzzard. Here's the microprocessor that I upload the code to. Here's the 8 to 14 volts input. Here is a relay that I'm not using but uh, might be useful for other applications. And it has some other random inputs that, that I don't have any use for. Uh, if you look at it sideways here, the this board came with a LCD screen built in and it had some little buttons soldered to the board. I made uh, this faceplate and then put these little risers in so that I can push the buttons from the front. It also has an LED. And then I added this little serial cable so that I didn't have to hook in a DB9 connector in the plane. It's kind of big. And this is much easier. And then uh, this faceplate just goes into a little plastic project box that I found. And it kind of fit. You could make it smaller if you wanted. Uh, it's about five inches wide by an inch and a half tall. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to take the serial out of my computer and I wrote a little program to simulate the data coming from the Dynon. I've already tested it in my RV4 and it works good, but to show you guys, I figured I would show it here on the desk because it's a little bit easier. Sitting in the back seat of RV4 is kind of cramped. So I'll turn it on. And you can see, it shows a little demo page. Immediately goes to the main page. The data coming out of the computer is simulated, so we're not actually going to go, you know, 300 to 400 miles an hour. I have it cycling between different values for altimeter and all that stuff. So we have miles per hour. Um, here's our altimeter, here's our vertical speed, here's our heading, and on the left and right is our wing leveler information, so right wing and left wing going up and down. Right now you can see we're, we're actually constantly rolling the plane to the right. I uh, thought it might be a little bit fun to do that rather than just flying straight and level all the time. So right now I make it so you push the blue button here and it cycles between different pages. Here's a time page. I don't have my application on the computer showing the different time coming out of the Dynon, but the Dynon actually spits out the current time so the backseat pilot could see that. This page isn't really done yet. Uh, it's just showing some RAN information. Here's a compass page I was working on. Uh, shows your heading and which direction you're going and then had some room on the left and right so I put the wing leveler back on it. And here's a gyro page shows your up and down in the middle and your left and right on the sides. Might be useful for something. Um, since it's such a small screen you know this this might not be uh, that useful but it was kind of fun. Then I have some debug information here that I was showing. Uh, I also put a roll counter on it and a loop counter. Right now the data isn't showing any uh, loops going on, but the rolls, you can see it being incremented here. And that's 
about it for the different pages. There's several other buttons that came with this board, but I don't really have that much use for them. So I at least put them on the front. Uh, if I come up with some ideas to what to use those buttons for, maybe I'll have them do something. Uh, this LED is currently flashing every time it gets data from the Dynon, so that's one way you can make sure that your data is coming in. And that's about it. Um, yep.